Hi everyone, what's up? It's your girl Tosca. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, happy new moon in Capricorn. <sighs> Alright, so this is going to be a real interesting collective reading. And I know I will, I'm backed up with personal readings, which is a good thing. But at the same time, like I need to have some downtime. And I've also been kind of sick. And I've been um, just exhausted. <laughs> So, um, I will get to your readings and I know you guys, I, I have the list, I have the list of people that I have to do readings for, okay? So, bear with me. Um, <clears throat> but the issue is, I've just been getting so many downloads from the divine, spirit guides, ancestors, whatever, and I've been getting so many dreams, like it's nonstop for like the past since since the end of December, and it's nonstop. And I keep waking up at three thirty three, and it's been a mind fuck, just a mind fuck. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to do this reading for you guys because I think there's something in the air that you guys need to know, and specifically. Um, specifically, this is going to be for my viewers who are single or just became single or or, or something or maybe you lost a uh, partner in your life or maybe you went through you just went through like a really big breakup and a lot of things just kind of changed like life changing things so I'm gonna get started sending you guys massive love and light Yeah, I feel like there's like an ending. Like it like a cut off. There was like a cut off. <sighs> All right, you guys. Just bear with me. I'm not going to take too long with this one. Um Again, I'm really sorry. I've just kind of been out of it, out of the loop all over the place, okay? So, this is my deck of cards please give me six cards for my general collective yeah for my singles there's a lot of songs coming up that are just like just signs like it's just signs Twenty twenty four is gonna be a year of love for a lot of you. It's gonna be a year of love in a general sense. Maybe it's maybe self love. Maybe um, you know, just learning how to love, learning how to forgive yourself. Three of clubs. <clears throat> Oof. Three of spades. Three, three, three. Three is the number of communication. Eight of, yeah, eight of hearts. Some of you made a decision to just walk away from a relationship, from an incident, from whatever it is. It was, it was mind fuckery. That's what I'm getting, like, mo like mind games or manipulation or I just I just heard what's that song it's tearing up my heart when I'm with you but when we are apart I feel it too and no matter what I do I feel oh, this who's saying that uh in sync or backstreet boys anyway some there was mind fuckery here I think it was in sync. Five of spades. 
two more cards, please. Queen of Spades. Yeah, four of hearts. Give me one more card for my general collective. King of Spades. Or King of Clubs. You were not a match for this person. I feel like this is romantic. It could have been, there were sharp words happening here. There was like, maybe cussing each other out. Could be, you just weren't on the same page. It wasn't that, that, that just to be with someone like that took, it, it takes a, a different kind of personality. And I feel like the personality is not meant for you or or the it would it, like the words were just so you know it's sharp I feel like you've tried to give this person chances you've given this person time you've given this person time to behave time to act right time to could because it takes two people right to be in a relationship and I feel as though to be in a relationship with someone you won't I don't want to say you have to conform to them or change for them but there is a level of compromise that you do have to for you not to be alone, there is a level of compromise, you know. I, I feel like there came a point where the both of you may have been coexisting and not really in a relationship. It was more of a coexisting, it almost feels like a roommate situation and not like a relationship situation. The only hearts you have is eight of hearts and the four of hearts. Some one person walked away here. Give me one more card. Communication sucked, but it was mind games. Two of clubs and the four. Yeah, the four of diamonds and the two of spades. Yeah. You told this person to beat it. Like, get your shit and go. To be honest. The love here was, it may have been exciting like the first few weeks maybe, but the longer you were in this, the longer that this was going on, the worse it got. For some of you, for some of you, there were more than one option and maybe they took another direction and went with someone else. Uh, some of you are workaholics right now, like you are in your zone when it comes to work. You are in your zone and you're like, I'm just doing everything for me right now everything that I'm doing it's for me and for some of you queen of clubs you will find your match could be in the spring some of you could be getting back with someone from the past someone some of you could be getting with someone from the future depends flip a coin but I feel like someone here is, it's almost like a, like a, I don't know, someone, like someone's coming back into your life. Um, I, for some of you, it could be a younger woman. For some of you, it could be a younger man. I'm getting Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And for some of you, you dealt with 
a shit show of a relationship that was up and down. Whenever it was up, it was great. Whenever it was down, it was like flat out, like it's never going to work out. Um, <clears throat> some of you are planning to stay single for right now. I don't see that happening too long. I feel like you're going to be single for another like three, four, five months maybe. But I feel like... I feel like some of you are focused on work. Yeah, nine of clubs, queen of clubs, all right? So some of you do have options in love. You just have to look for it. Some of you had to leave a relationship for your own sanity because I feel like some of you were losing your mind in a relationship, losing your minds. And the love language wasn't there and the, communication really sucked and 90% of a relationship is communication right 90% of a relationship happening is communication talk about it give me one more card please eight of clubs someone's coming back around like I'm telling you text messages um, DMs, emails, something is going to happen. Someone's coming back around. But it's someone that you were not... I feel like it's someone you weren't with. Um, maybe you dated or maybe you got to know that person and for some reason it just ended. Or for some of you, it's a brand new person. Um... March. I'm seeing March being a month of just communication. Alright. Tarot. I'm going to use my Tarot of Mystical Moments. Give me six cards, please. Six cards for my singles. This is a collective reading, so... You know, take what resonates. Every time I do something like this, though, I feel like it's meant for someone. Um, and it could be a timeless reading. I don't know exactly, but uh, the day I'm filming this is January 10th, 2024. If you watch this a year from now or two years from now, it could resonate then. Um, the only way we go is to move forward that's you know time and the world does not wait for us you know the world does not stop for us so nine of cups seven of wands page of pentacles the tower, yeah. Five of cups. One more card, please, for my collective. I really feel like this is for the singles. Some of you have some unresolved anger issues that you need to reconfigure, like really kind of look through why you still feel angry about something that happened in the past. Like, you can't do anything about the past. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Six of Wands the world yes this was a karmic lesson if you guys were in a relationship recently and it ended this was a karmic lesson and it was it wasn't really about you learning to love but it was kind of seeing on the other end of the lens like how other people love we often look at things the way, especially in a relationship, we often look at things very subjective, subjectively. 
um, this is what I want from the relationship, this is what I need from a relationship. Um, and the other person might not be as vocal or as, you know, doesn't have the same love language. And it, it, if you want to make something last, you have to be able to talk with each other. If you can't talk with each other, then what's the point of being in a relationship? If you can't take care of one another, what's the point of being in a relationship? <laughs> King of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Judgment. I'm telling you, someone is coming back around into your life. Some of you, it's a new person. Some of you, it's a new friendship. But the biggest message I'm getting for my singles, <clears throat> all right, is that You have to be willing to let go of something good in order for something better to come in, okay? I think a lot of you had high hopes for a relationship to work out or for a friendship to work out or for whatever it is, but it had to do with like some kind of relationship to happen. In order for this to work out, um, you're going to have to let go of something good in order for something better to happen. Some of you are going to find stability in yourself. Some of you are finding stability in yourself and finding stability in your family. Your family right now is what's holding you down. Maybe some of you have kids and that's really what's making you um, continue and keep going and stay motivated. But I do feel like someone is coming in for you. Um, the astrological signs I'm seeing is Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. It doesn't have to be those signs, but I, I do feel Scorpio vibes right now. I really feel a lot of Scorpio. Maybe some of you started fighting during Scorpio season, so November of like 2023. It already wasn't. It was already getting kind of shaky. And it was like getting rough and you don't even know it was up and down wavy, you know. Um, what is your advice? Give me three cards, please. What is your advice for my singles? I'm feeling this for the singles because I feel like you guys went through like the one of the rough. I think 2023 was really rough on people, especially people in relationships or who have been in long-term relationships. Um, when I mean long-term, it's probably like two years. Or, I didn't have that kind of stress because I wasn't with anyone, but I felt the energy of just uncertainty. And I've been with this person for seven years, or I've been with this person for 10 years, and I don't know how it's going to end up. But it, it, it was already like the ground was shifting. You're just trying to keep it together. Where there is smoke, there is fire, right? Where there is smoke, there is fire. So, your advice, wow, is justice, ten of wands, and the fool. You're going to have to... You're going to have to level out... Or even out or balance out the weight because this relationship was great at one point and then it became a burden and it became too much for you to carry you cannot carry old habits into new situations but I do see a new a new um, path for you a new like journey some of you might choose to stay single for a while, and that's okay. That's what you need. 
Some of you are nervous about feeling being alone. Don't worry about being alone. It's just part of life. Yeah, Page of Swords, um, Page of Cups, and the High Priestess. Some of you already knew that, you know, this was not going to work out and you were going to have to do things differently for yourself. You are in no obligation to be with anyone if you don't want to be with anyone. And you have to, like, resolve your own issues. I get it. I did that. I did that three years of therapy. I kept going and I never missed a beat. Like, if you want healing, you, you have to get ready for the healing. And sometimes it means you got to be alone. Um, some of you are learning. This is definitely was a learning step. But it almost shows you like what you need to put your energy in and what you need to not put your energy in maybe it's maybe you got into a relationship not thinking it would take a lot of work but it actually did take a lot of work and it took a lot of energy out of you and it's like um you know it's give and take it's not just someone taking 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 it's both give and take right and this is all learning this is all learning and understanding no relationship is perfect there's no such thing as a perfect relationship um, some of you dealt I don't know why I'm getting this it just kind of came up some of you dealt with someone who was extra desperate just desperate for your love for your attention for your for your just company there was a lot of desperation and you don't want that because when you're desperate for something that means you're lacking you know some people would be super happy to be in a relationship and they're not you know don't ever feel like a relationship should be taken for granted if you got something out of it and you learn from it. You learned what you didn't want. You learn, yeah. You know, sometimes I remember someone used to tell me, well, I know what I do want and I know what I don't want in a relationship. I don't. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, you got something out of it. One more card for my collective. And then I'll go through my other deck. Wow. Ooh, the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. Um, some of you are gonna get back with a fr are gonna get back with a friend. Some of you, some of you lost sight. So some of you may have lost sight of your relate your other relationships like with your friends, with your family because you were so focused on this one relation romantic relationship, right? And you kind of was just like you know, I need to get back into the swing of things. I need to like take charge of my life again. You know, just because someone tells me they don't want me to hang out with my friends, like I do you know what I mean? Like, you should be able to do the thing. Like, we're all adults. Like, you should be able to do the things you want without the permission. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird like that, but, or a free spirit like that. But I just, I feel like if you always have to constantly ask for permission to go and do something, you're not a child anymore. Like, you can do things on your own. We're independent people. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's how I view relationships. But you know, to be nice about it, like yeah, I say like yeah, I'm going out with my friends. But when they start like saying like you're always out with your friends, and I don't know, it just feels like it just feels like something is. It, it's just 
don't know. I don't like that. It's like too needy. It's like a like a like Sabrina who always wants me to be home. Yeah, King of Swords. King of Swords. Eight of Cups. I feel like you, Seven of Swords, if you were my viewers, I feel like it's my viewers. If you were in a relationship, you were the one that left. You were like, that's it. I'm done. Goodbye. You know. All right. So that's what I got. Remember to let go of resistance. Sometimes you have to let go of something good to let something better come in. Okay. Um... And this is my Osho Zentero deck. Give me three cards. What do you want my collective readers to know? I will do a zodiac sign reading and I will do a money reading very soon. Just give me um, a few days to get through all of this. be a successful year and despite how it started it's gonna be a successful year you just think positive okay and I think a lot of you are free now and some some of you are thinking about the pain and you're you're in that place of like the pain the hurt but you're actually free from the prism of being in a relationship with someone someone who's not meant for you because relationships like a good healthy relationship and love should feel like freedom I always believe that in a partnership it should be fun and free projection yeah and stress and trust oh my god burden and the dream yeah, some of you were like thinking that this was the dream relationship, this was it, this was the one, and it was like, and then it just turned out into like a big stress, <laughs> just a big stress, and I'm going to be honest with you, there, there was a sense of something fleeting in this relationship, but a lot of it was just projections, and some of you guys dealt with people who were um, projecting, but also, like, just pushing their bullshit on you. Like, their internal crap onto you. So, you know, stay above it. Trust the universe. Stay above it. Yours, we, we meet people for a time and for a purpose. And it shows us maybe what we have been reflecting to others or what others have been what makes us more attracted to certain types of people certain personalities so yeah oh my god you cannot pick this up the lovers i'm telling you love for some of you you're like i'm exhausted right now i don't want love right now i'm tired of it but for some of you singles love is coming your way i'm telling you you get ready. Get ready. Get your ass ready. Because <laughs> I do feel like it's coming your way. Um, I personally feel like it's coming my way. When is it coming? I have no idea. I've gotten, I've gotten tarot readings for myself. Um, marriage is supposed to be in my future. I'm supposed to get engaged again. Um, it's it's in the cards for me, but I don't. Like, where who I don't know I can't see that for myself I have to go to someone else to actually do that because if I try to think about it it's gonna drive me nuts so don't think about it chill out enjoy the ride I feel like I feel like I have to say that like enjoy the journey 
because life is a journey um relationships especially relationships with a partner is a beautiful journey it really is a beautiful journey to have a partner with you um till the day you expire you know it's it's a beautiful thing it's just that we live in a society where we value instant gratification over the longevity and the quality you know of a relationship and the quality of life from a relationship you know it's always for me it's always been quality over quantity absolutely that's why I've been single for most of my life give me one card this is my triple goddess yeah triple goddess tarot deck let me tell you something king of pentacles <laughs> this is a husband card for some people this is the husband card for some people this really means right now you have to be emotionally financially mentally physically stable you just have to be you have to be your own stability right now it's telling you maybe you depended too much codependency you know maybe you depended too much on the other person right now it's your turn to be dependent on yourself and on the divine trust the divine okay um for some of you there is someone coming in with an offer of love for some of you there is an engagement happening i see engagements around christmas time november december 2024 could be 2025 I see things like being very I don't know like you might have some cold feet like do I really want this or do I really not want this that's what I'm getting all right so that's what I have you guys yeah temperance yeah some of you are gonna be on your journey to healing so yeah this is a new moon in Capricorn so you ended with king of pentacles and temperance so I guess just stay with it like it seems bleak in certain parts in every relationship it doesn't matter how long it's been every relationship has its own issues and we got to you know you just have to thug it out literally like if you want it to stay longer then but not at the expense of your time not the expense of putting too much energy into it because a relationship should be a bipartisan thing. It should be two people coming together in agreement saying this is what we want. This is what we hope to create and not like <clears throat> you have to stay with me. You have to do this with me. You have to da -da 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 -da. you know. You know, and it's one thing to be like, "Hey, can you get me this? Can you like I'm sick right now. Can you do this for me?" That's one thing. But it's, you know, it's another thing to be, like, in harassment. <laughs> being, like, harassment. Like, being a harassing girl or a harassing... It's mostly been girls that I've dealt with that may have been harassing. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just been a lot. And it's time for you guys to celebrate. Don't, don't think too much about it. Just celebrate. Go out with your girlfriends. Go out with your guy friends. You know? enjoy your life enjoy your life this is the only one we get to live you, there's no use in in crying over a breakup which you knew it wasn't gonna last anyway so <clears throat> happy <clears throat> excuse me happy 
um, new moon in Capricorn and I'm going to show you my blue appetite yeah this is a really good stone uh, crystal to have if you're going through a lot of emotional stuff also really good for communication all right so that's all I got love and light everyone enjoy this video this is timeless I just you know I just felt the need to do this um, the past couple of days it's just been non-stop you gotta tell them this you gotta tell them this you gotta tell them and it's like eh. okay <laughs> so love and light enjoy your week your month year and just enjoy the journey bye guys